our orders, we set sail. And after 40 days and 40 nights, we dropped anchor. Hello, shipmates. You all bunked down? Yes. May I join you? I won't tell. This is Betty Grace. She bunks next door. Yeah. We're not supposed to play together, but we do anyhow. I'm reading her all about my voyages with Captain Isaac Pringle. We've just dropped anchor off Singapore. How exciting. Mady said your name was Grayson. Isn't that Ernestine Pringle's house? She's only my aunt. My daddy and mommy were named Grayson. Sailed away one day and never came back. That was when I was real little. Well, now we'll get on with the voyage. It was the year 1884, Betty. Mady! I told you my name wasn't Betty today. Oh, sink me, I forgot. What is your name today? Beth. And Ernestine scolded me this morning. And Beth is sadder. You see, it all depends on how I feel. Why, how wonderful to have a name that can be so many names and, and still all your own. There's Elsie, and Beth, and Betty, and Elizabeth. And Lizzie. Oh, no, matey. That sounds like freckles and a pug nose. I could never feel like Lizzie. And Ernestine thinks changing my name is childish. Betty. Maybe I've asked you many times to stop putting nonsense into this child's head. Oh, but, but he wasn't. We were just talking. I think it would be as well, Miss Shirley, if you confined your attentions to the children in your school. Come along, Betty. What a perfectly dreadful woman. Of course. She's a Pringle, ain't she? 